Educational institutions have reopened their doors this week for the new term in strict adherence to the school-specific protocols outlined by the Ministry of Health. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George has assured that the ministry stands ready to provide additional support to schools in this COVID-19 environment. Here's Jesse Leos. With the increase in the number of COVID-19 cases diagnosed over the past week, we understand the concern felt by students, parents, teachers, administrative staff, and the general public at large. A reassuring Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Sharon Belmar george acknowledging potential anxieties over the return to classrooms this school term. The recent increase in active coronavirus cases on island, she guarantees, were anticipated and accommodated for. Lateral efforts for ensuring a safe return to school compounds for the new term included the development of specific protocols for the education sector. These include the reinforcement of frequent hand washing and sanitation sanitization and procurement of requisite supplies, provision of maintenance and hand washing stations with soap, potable water and waste receptacles, strategic placement of alcohol-based hand sanitizers, compliance of teachers and students with the protocols, cleaning and disinfecting of school buildings, especially sanitary and other frequently touched facilities, and frequent and daily cleaning of schools overall. The CMO appeals to parents to be cooperative and encourage the same in their students. Parents, please ensure that children are kept at home or taken to the closest respiratory clinics if they develop respiratory symptoms. Do ensure that they are given a clean face mask daily with hand sanitizer. Encourage our children to cooperate with the school authorities to keep all of us safe. Keep the lines of communication open to address any fears that they may have. Dr. Belmont George also emphasized the critical role of educators in ensuring a safe and healthy learning space for the children. We understand the strain has been put on teachers who are managing with new modalities during the last few months, and we encourage them to continue cooperating with their principals to provide a safe, healthy academic environment for the future of our nation. We acknowledge the leadership of the principals and the Ministry of Education in guiding the sector during this difficult period of coexisting with COVID-19. Globally, the rate of pediatric COVID-19 cases is significantly lower as compared to adults. Children under 18 years represent 8.5% in the United States setting and less than 5% in Europe's. Current evidence suggests that children are less likely than adults to be transmitters of disease, child-to-child -child transmission is uncommon, and schools have not been associated with significant increases in community transmission. As at 5th January 2021, St. Lucia school aged infected were the lowest rates among age groups, representing 11% of the then 353 registered cases on island. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting.